are in the bosom of the deep. O'er these wild shelves my watch I keep, a ruddy gem of changeful light, bound on the dusky brow of night. The seaman bids my lustre hail, and scorns to strike his timorous sail. The Year of the Light is to commemorate the building of the, the, the Bellrock Lighthouse. When I heard about the, the bicentenary of the Bellrock Lighthouse, I felt a shiver down my spine, and I knew that this is going to be one of the biggest things that's happened in Arbroath and Angus for many, many years. It is very much a landmark uh, lighthouse. I mean, it's, it's become famous the world over for a variety of reasons, not least of which because of its wonderful uh, situation, as, it, as I say, lies out in that rock there. So the building feat in itself has always been really recognised, and people from around the world do come and visit it. They're continually using it as a, an example of, of the, some of the finest engineering abilities at its time. At the time that was built, you know, you know, they were still chipping the stones in quarries with hammers and chisels and, and so the building of it in itself was a feat. The story of it itself is mind-boggling. The great problem of building anything out on that rock is that it is submerged by the sea up to about 14 feet, which is probably three to four meters twice a day. And it only uncovers to two to three hours every low tide. So of course you had a great logistics problem there for a start. The idea was, of course, that they would build a beacon house which would temporarily house the artificers. And uh, that wasn't, of course, completed until after the first year or so of the build. The innovation of the design of the Bellrock Lighthouse really is based on the Edison down in the south of England uh, in Smeaton's Tower. But, but, of course, it was improved upon in many ways. The interlocking stones was really the key to it all. Each course in itself, and there was 90 of them all, told was constructed here on land and then it was then transported out to the rock for laying so it was really a very complex affair but Stevenson said really that it was the weight of the stones that was the main stability of the bell rock itself. I used to enjoy just sitting reading. I had a very comfortable chair in the light room which was actually really good because it was like even in the the coldest day and the sun was shining and you could sit up there and it was very warm, you know? And I used to enjoy sitting up there, reading a book where you can glance out to the sea, you can see the fishing boats coming out from Arbroath. I've been commercially fishing out of Arbroath for 40 years. Now uh, we've uh, diversified and we do uh, fishing parties and also sightseeing trips out to the Barrow. Uh, we take uh, people out to view the Barrow from all parts of the world. It's of uh, great interest to uh, a, a large number of people. Also local people, the, uh, a lot of people have never been to Bellrock and uh, the fact that it's only 10 miles out there and uh, it's, it, it ranks up with uh, like some of the greatest engineering feats ever. We've had contact from America, Canada, Brazil, Japan. We'll have people from all over the world interested in the lighthouse. The reason it's significant to Angus is it was built by local labour and it's local people who have actually serviced the lighthouse for many, many years. From this harbour, the boats used to go out and supply papers and milk and bread to the lighthouse keepers. The men who built it, I mean, during my time on the bell, you could walk around the reef and it's just littered with initials of men that were on the bell that chiseled their initials on the rock. Mines is there someplace now, probably underneath the seaweed. But that's what it is, it's the fascination of the story. The story of the sea. Uh, it's always had a fascination for people. There is going to be a lot of celebrations all over the world, various people. Arbroath itself is doing quite a number of events. They're going to start with a big bang with the fireworks display 
at the Signal Tower Museum. We have numerous projects throughout the year. We have a show at the Webster Theatre, we have a talk by Professor Paxton, there's boat trips, there's yacht races. The local stamp club have actually produced a first day cover. This project is going worldwide. It's not just a local project, it's going worldwide. So I think it's great that this is going to be for the memory of all these people. Not just Stevenson who built it, it's going to give people an insight to everybody that was involved with the Bell Rock. My father always told me when I was knee high to a grasshopper uh, that uh, about the family's interest and it really has shone down through the centuries uh, just like a beacon of light. Uh, been with me all my, my days and no doubt will continue.